Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another top app of the week review. This of course is JCVP11 and hopefully you guys are enjoying the uploads on a daily basis. As always, I upload every Monday and Thursday, Monday being an app review video and Thursday being a game review video. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's top app that I found useful. This week's top app is Camp Scanner, as you can see on screen right now. And this is a really, really good productivity tool, not only for students such as myself, but also people at the office who want to scan documents on the go. So it is very simple and it's free of cost. All you do is click the camera there. Let's get a shot of, let's say, this picture right here. And I want to send it to someone. All I have to do is do that and it'll do the magic for you. Now you click and you click what you want to highlight. So I just want to share the picture so I'm going to adjust the cropping so that it only shows the picture. There is the picture of course it is upside down so you can just flip it twice and there is the picture right side up. You click the tick mark and it crops it for you. It even gives you a scanned image of it. So you can change the way it looks. You can keep it original you can lighten it up a little bit. You can, of course, use their magic color option, which just makes everything awesome. The gray mode, which makes everything more grayer. And the black and white mode, which doesn't seem to work that well. But not only this is useful for photos, it's also useful for sharing these pictures. So let's say you want to add another file. So you just click on the add button. And let's say you want to add this paragraph. So I'm just going to quickly get this on focus. Let's say I just want to add a few words now. It takes another picture. Click tick. There is what I want to add. Click the tick mark. It will crop it for you and it will scan it. As you can see the scan quality is pretty amazing and it looks like it's been scanned from a scanner. But of course as you saw right there I just took a photo of it. You can click the tick mark and there we go. Both of these files are now in one big folder. And what is amazing is the fact that you can now share it anywhere you want. So you can share it via Bluetooth, via Gmail, via Dropbox, via Drive, via Inbox if you have an invite, of course. Or you can even Skype it to someone, as you can see right here. You can make it into a PDF file and then open it using any of the programs you have that are supported PDF. Now, that's been it. It was a quick overview of how this app works. You can actually sort how you want the order of your documents to be. So if you want the picture to be at the back of the document and the text to be at the front, you can do that as well. And it will do all the sorting for you. Now, I use this app to scan a load of things for my school as well as for my university applications. And hopefully you guys find this useful as well. As always, if you enjoyed this video and learned something new, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to see more helpful videos such as this every Monday and game reviews every Thursday. For now, I'm out. Peace.